What's up guys and welcome to Functional Friday. Welcome to the channel. Please subscribe and like if you haven't already. And here we go. Today I'm going to do a shootout, a long-awaited shootout that I've wanted to do for so long between five of my amps, and the loser will be sold. Here we go. I'm going to use this pedal, uh, sorry, multi-effects processor to go into the front of each of the amps and see how they take it. This is the TC Nova system. I've had this for almost a decade. It's a, it's a good multi-effects system. Classic, it got me through a lot of gigs, and even though it started falling apart with pieces falling off of it, it still works perfectly well. And that speaks high volumes for TC Electronics, which would probably explain why they're the most popular company in the world, or the most searched company in the world. Anyway, let's get started. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show what each of these amps sounds like, just clean, with maybe reverb on the TC, going into the front of them. And then I'm going to start using effects in each of them and see which one can hold up to the rigors of different effects hitting the front of them. Now, that being said, I am well aware that this one, which is a Plexi made by Morgan, doesn't get super clean and probably won't sound great with delays going into the front of it. That being said, it has a very unique voice. And so really the ultimate fail on this video is if it doesn't have a super unique voice to stand out on its own amongst a room of amps and it doesn't take pedals well then it's just not the right amp it's just not a good amp that's what amps should do they should either be unique or take pedals well i don't know I, that's just my opinion comment down below give me your opinion tell me how wrong i am here we go All right, so here we are. I've got all the amps pretty loud, starting with the matchless and working my way across the room. Everything is clean. I'm just using reverb and comp and compression on the Nova system. I'm using the compression because for some reason, the Nova system is oddly acting weird today and without compression, it doesn't want to sound good. I'm looking up here because I'm trying to talk loud because everything's so loud I had to turn the mic way down. So I'll have to boost it in post, but here we go. The matchless. I'll go through dirt later, just doing clean for now. Plexi or the Morgan Plexi.
guy. This is a brown note uh, overdrive special, which has the dirt on. Let me turn that off. All right, there we have it. That is the clean tone with all of them. Let me get reset, and I will do the dirty tone with all of them. The dirty tone of the pedal, and see how it takes drives. And some multi effects. All right, so now, sorry I've changed shirts because it's a new day, but I am going to give you an example of the amps with uh, different types of effects on them. So I'm, I've added distortion to my TC Nova. I've also added um, a slight pitch detune to kind of give it that chorusy sound of that 80s rock and roll. <laughs> Sounds pretty cool. So, this is the matchless. Uh, I'll throw some delay on there too. And let's have some fun. That's the matchless. Here's the fender. Here's the Mesa. Let me move out of the way so you get a good shot of the speaker. So here is the Morgan Plexi. Uh, I've adjusted the volume up a little bit so it's more on par with the rest of the amps. I'll do another clean one and edit that up and show you that towards the end. Um, but the amp did get a little bit brighter because as I adjust the master is all the way up. The master is basically how many watts are controlling the amp. Because uh, this amp, which I'll do a review of because it's an awesome amp, goes from 1 watt to 35 watts. It's amazing. Um, and then there's a volume, and then there's a gain. So I've got the gain all the way off. The volume is a little bit past one o'clock, close to two o'clock. Uh, so it's turned up quite a bit. It makes the amp a little bit more brittle. Um, I do have the bright switch on, so let me, I'll turn that off real quick and we'll see what that sounds like. So I keep looking up here because the mic's up here and for some reason in my brain, I'm like, talk to the mic instead of talk to the camera. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Thank you. 
Here is the Dumble Clone. I've put the, there's a bright switch that was on two. This amp was a little bright with the distortion, and so I've put it down to no bright switch. So similar to the uh, Morgan, I, it kind of helps a bit, so here we go. <laughs> Here's with that bright switch back on, I'm going to put it on the first setting. So how do I sum up my overall impression of these amps? Well, they're my amps, I love them. They've always had a near and dear part to me. Even the new ones, like my new Morgan Plexi, has its own unique voice. And the idea behind this video was to figure out which amp I should let go of. Sadly, the one that I was sure that I was gonna let go of, I'm not so sure anymore. With this board going into all of them side by side, I feel like the Matchless really did a great job. Maybe it was in the top three sounds that I enjoyed. So that makes it difficult. What do I do? What do I sell? Comment below, let me know. The one thing I do feel most of all about these amps is that for the most part, they all have a very different, unique voice with the exception maybe being the Fender. And that's what I like about it. That's what makes it unique. It's just a blank slate that's easy to create your own sound on. That's why it's always been one of my favorite pedal amps. In fact, I've even linked to that in a video right here for you, or maybe over here, I think it's over here. That in itself makes it a great amp because it's a great pedal platform. Did it do the best in this scenario? No, it didn't. But again, I'm putting a multi-effects unit into it and Multi-effects units, I don't think, express your sound the best. They're good at making a very produced sound, which is kind of cool. And I like them for that. So, please, comment below. Let me know what you guys really feel about each of these amps. And the one that gets the most hate, I will let go of. I will sell it. I'll let you guys pick the one that's got to go. Let me know.